Tell us a joke. Tell us a funny story to make us all laugh. I don't know why we're all so solemn. Is it because I've been stood up by my bow? <laughs> you know, it's the first time in all my experience with men that this has happened to me. And I've had a lot of experience. I know you like my stories, Blanche. Well, I like them when they're amusing and not indecent. I don't have any refined enough for your taste. Well, then let me tell one. Yes, you tell one, Blanche. You used to know all the good stories. Oh, yes, I love parrot stories. Do you all like parrot stories? Um, well, this one's about the old maid and the parrot. This old woman, she has this parrot that curses up a blue streak. Um, and, I mean, it's even more than Mr. Kowalski over here. Huh? So the only way to hush the parrot up was to put the cover over the cage so it would think it was night and go back to sleep. Um, and so one morning, the old maid had just took the cover off for, of the parrot for the day, when who does she see coming up the walk? the preacher. So just as quick as she can, she puts the cover back on and she's making tea for the preacher and the parrot's quiet as his mouth when all of a sudden it breaks out and it goes, well god damn, but that was a short day. Your face and your fingers are disgustingly greasy. Go wash up and help me clear the table. That's how I clear the table. Don't ever talk that way to me again. Pig, Polak, disgusting, vulgar, greasy. Them words have been on the tongue of you and your sister too much around here. What do you think you are? A pair of queens? Remember what Huey Long said, every man is king. And I am king around here, so don't tell me what to do. My place is cleared. Do you want me to clear yours too? What happened while I was bathing? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, he, he told you something. Something about Mitch. About why he why he didn't come tonight. And now you're not going to tell me. I wouldn't call him Blanche. No, well, I intend to get some kind of explanation from somebody. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, M Mr. Mitchell, please. I hope you're pleased with your doings. I never had so much trouble swallowing food in my life. Looking at that girl's face in that empty chair. Still, it'll be alright after she goes and you've had the baby. It's gonna be alright between us. Remember those times we had? Remember those nights? God, honey, it would be sweet when we make noise in the night like the way we used to and see them colored lights without worrying about anyone's sisters behind the curtains to hear us. Yes, tell him it's very important, very urgent. Thank you. I shouldn't have called him. Oh, but there are lots of things that could have happened. Well, I know, Stella, but I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have to put up with it. I should not be taken for granted. God damn, it's hot in here with the steam from the bathroom. Well, I, I've already apologized three times. You know, I, I take baths to calm my nerves. It's called hydrotherapy. But, I mean, you are such a healthy Polack without a nerve in your entire body. You wouldn't know what anxiety feels like. I'm not a Polack! People from Poland are Poles, not Polacks! But what I am is 100% American! Born and raised in the greatest country on earth, and I am proud as hell of it. So don't call me a Polak. Oh, that must be for me. I'm sure of it. I am not sure of it. So keep your seat. Hello, uh -huh. Mac. Quiet in there. We got a noisy one in the place. Go on, Mac. At Riley's. No, I don't want to go to Riley's. I had a little trouble with Riley last week. I'm a team captain, ain't I? Alright then. We're not going to bolt Riley's. We're going to bolt the west side of the gala. Alright, Mac. See you soon. So, Blanche, I got a little birthday remembrance for you. Oh, have you? That's very nice. I don't know why I still insist on observing my birthday. I mean, when you get to be my age, it's something you'd rather forget, you know, when you're, when you're 27. 27? <laughs> what is it? Well, I hope you like it. Yes, uh, what is it? Come on. It's a ticket! Back to Laurel! On the Greyhound! For Tuesday! Oh.
You didn't need to do that. Don't forget all I took off her. You needn't be so cruel to someone as alone as she is. Let me tell you, she is. She is. She was. You didn't know Blanche as a child. Nobody, nobody was as tender and as trusting as she was. But people like you abused her and forced her to change. Bowling? Sure. You're not going bowling. Why did you do this to her? You are nothing to no one. Let go of me. You're tearing my shirt. I want to know why. Tell me why. When we first met, me and you, I thought it was common. You were right, baby. I was common as dirt. Show me that snapshot of that place with them columns. And I pulled you down off those columns. And you loved it. Having those colored lights going. And we were happy. Wasn't it okay? Till she showed up. And weren't we happy? Was it okay? So she showed here. Hoity toity, you calling me an ape. W what's wrong, Stella? Take me to the hospital. Look up at the camera for tears. <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, baby.